Hi, now it's okay. Very good afternoon to all of you. Honorable Governor of Assam and Chancellor of Cotton University, most respected Sri Gulab Chankataria Ji, Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma Dangaria. Correct, Bolana, sir? <laughs> I have got wizened and but a soothing word hai. Kati vi bhi lagta hai. Man bhi parfulit ho zata hai. Mukhya Mantri ji se lagta hai purana rishta hai. Inka janam din ma kabhi nahi bhulta. Us din meri shadi hoi thi. I picked up the greatest challenge of my life on that day. How can I forget it? Honorable Education Minister of Assam, Dr. Ranoz Pegu, Pegu. Honorable Chief Secretary, Sri Pavan Kumar Bor Thakur. Director General of Police, Sri G.P. Singh. Vice Chancellor Cotton University, Professor Ramesh Chandra Deka. Distinguished guests, members of the faculty, and my dear students. This place is a great place. This institution has made great contribution through its alumni in various walks of life, politics being one of them. The state of Assam has got eight chief ministers from this place. One of the shining star is here. And so much is the political reach of this place that one of your students became chief minister of one of the northeastern states, Nagaland. It is an occasion for me to be here and find out what do you teach so that your people not only reach at the top, but become performing chief ministers. Your chief minister, by every standard, is a man in action, a top performer, and I got the test of it recently. Very straightforward, very forthright, very far-sighted, and he unfolded what has to be done in educational institutions. He was talking like a statesman. Friends, you are discerning minds. You will shape future of Bharat. You will decide what Bharat will be at 2047 when it celebrates centenary of its independence. His focus on education is remarkable. It exemplifies his commitment to authentic development of the nation. I have no doubt education is the most impactful, lasting, transformational mechanism to change society, to even out inequalities, to combat inequities. If we manage to have quality education, other things will fall in place. I fully agree and endorse and appeal everyone to follow it. Educational institutions are not required to do usual work. They have to be crucible of change. And change comes when you engage in innovation, research, development, think out of the box. I have no doubt his reference to Nalanda and Takshila, we are on way to becoming one. 
I would appeal to the Honorable Chief Minister that this Cotton University and its predecessor Cotton College, they have alumni spread all over. Please have biannual meeting of alumni. Call upon the alumni. Give back to the society through the college. And there will be geometric dimension to your growth. I have no doubt about it. Friends, I have been blessed by Ma Kamakya. She inspires us, motivates us to have woman empowerment. On 21st September of this year, there was epochal development in the country. A development that will shape our destiny for the better. Parliament passed Women Reservation Bill. It was waiting for long. Thanks to the vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the justice has been done to half of population of this country by providing for reservation in parliament and state legislatures. Congratulations to everyone. This is a matter of joy, not only for women, but also for men, because they will get quality assistance, quality leadership. In togetherness, we will shape the destiny of this country. I had the good fortune to preside over Rajya Sabha on that historic day. The entire world was watching Indian democracy, home to one-sixth of humanity. I appeal to my girl students, if you had seen the proceedings, and you can see them again on Sunset TV, 17 women parliamentarians, also from your area, presided over the house on that day. And as luck would have it, sometimes destiny rewards the man in its own way. 21st September happened to be the birthday as per Hindu Riti Initi of the Prime Minister who piloted it very successfully. What a pleasant coincidence. Bharat Badal Rai. Bharat Unnati ke path par agar sar hai. The rise of India is on incremental trajectory. The rise is unstoppable. The world is stunned at our growth. Our Amrit Kaal is our Gaurav Kaal. Our Amrit Kaal has become Gaurav Kaal because we are on path that is in accordance with our civilizational ethos, working for everyone's welfare. Just look at last three months, forget about the rest. And what historic turnaround moments we have seen. A special session of parliament, as I said, Women Reservation Bill. On 23rd August 2023, India became our Bharat became the only country on the planet to have landed on the South Pole of Moon. We declared it as a space day. We have had inauguration of world-renowned convention centers, Bharata Madhapam, Yeshobhumi. Our successful holding of G20. In your state, there have been impactful programs of G20. The programs of G20 have been in every state and union territory of the country. I was so delighted when world leaders reflected India has set a very high benchmark. And look at our diplomatic soft power. Delhi Declaration will go down in the history as the greatest diplomatic victory of this nation. The voice of Bharat, the voice of Indian Prime Minister, 
has never been more impactful as now. The world looks at Bharat. What is the viewpoint of Bharat? We have come at that stage. So all of you boys and girls are extremely lucky to be living in times where task for you is cut out. Just a decade ago, our economy was faltering. We were fragile five. We were a matter of concern for the entire world. In 2022, overtaking Great Britain, overtaking France, India became the fifth largest global economy. By turn of this decade, by 2030, undoubtedly, we would have overtaken Japan and Germany to become the third largest global economy. We never dreamt of it. We never imagined it. We have come to this way because the largest democracy on the planet has visionary leadership of Prime Minister Modi. He is in mission mode like your Chief Minister. He is swift at execution. He thinks big, achieves big. It is perhaps for the first time that you see a man inaugurating projects for which he laid the foundation stone. Now you have an ecosystem in place, Honorable Governor was reflecting about employment. Young boys and girls, let me inform you, and you know it, the entire world is stunned by India's achievements. International Monetary Fund says India is a shining economy in the world. It's a favorite global destination of investment and opportunity. All that is for you. There is an ecosystem in place today where every young boy and girl can unleash his or her energy, exploit potential and talent to realize dreams and aspirations. Look at government schemes, and most of them are youth-centric, women-centric. I wouldn't dilate much on that, but look at the kind of revolution Mudra has done, and the major beneficiaries are our women. They employ themselves, and they employ others also. Time has come for our young minds who are our future leaders. They will carry Bharat on their shoulders to 2047 and beyond. Look around. There is no dearth of opportunity. There is no dearth of capital. Please engage into the activity. When you step out in the larger world, everything will be open to you. I was so happy that not only in the field of education, the Honorable Governor and Chief Minister were passionate, but the Honorable Chief Minister could reflect. It is an eye-opener for me. I will leave this place with greater confidence that this part of our country will lead when he could talk of quantum computing. Let me tell you, quantum Competing, we are one of the very few countries to be in leadership. The number is not in double digit. National Hydrogen Commission, enormous potential. These are issues not to be discussed with people who do not understand it, but you understand it. The moment you will leave this house, find out enormous vistas being opened to you all in that particular area, there is an estimate. Lakhs of people will get employment, and we will attract investment of more than 8 lakh crores. These are our achievements. There was a time when we used to wait for technology to come to this country. Sometimes it would take 20 years, then 10 years. Now, technology starts with us. 
those who used to advise us are taking our advice and why not if we talk of technological penetration let me share two statistics with you in 2022 per capita data consumption of internet of bharat per capita was more than that of china and us taken together our direct digital transactions are four times the combine of us uk france and germany isliye main kehta hu sahi samay hai sahi sthiti hai sahi vyavastha hai har kuch sambhav hai mumkin hai you only have to take the first step and the system will help you सरकार की इतनी सकारात्मक नीतियां हैं हर फील्ड में हैं जो किसी को बाधित नहीं करती आप में यदि अगर प्रतिभा है तो उस प्रतिभा को आप परखर कर सकते हैं यह है आज का भारत दुनिया में भारत और भारत के प्रधानमंत्री की चमक और तमक ऐसी है जो पहले कभी हमने देखी नहीं this is an achievement because all of us central and state governments people of this country are contributing to the rise of india aarthik uchaiyan hain apratyashit pragati hai lambe samay se jis baat ka intezar tha wo zameeni haqeeqat hai aur education ke mamle mein to krantikari baatein ho rahi hain I was governor of the state of West Bengal जब भारत की नई शिक्षा नीति का निर्माण हो रहा था तीन दशक के बाद वो ऐतिहासिक सुअवसर आया एक लाख से ज्यादा इनपुट स्टेक होल्डर्स की आई उन सबको एनालाइज किया गया कन्वर्स किया गया और एक ऐसी नीति का निर्माण हुआ है जो डिग्री ओरिएंटेड नहीं है नॉलेज एंड स्किल ओरिएंटेड है आपको एक उपयोगी नागरिक बनाती है आपको अपनी टैलेंट को सही दिशा में उपयोग करने के लिए प्रेरित करती है दिस इज द बिग चेंज द ड्रीम ऑफ द ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर वेन इट टॉक्स ऑफ नालंदा तक्षशिला मस्ट प्रैक्टिफाई एंड दिस कुड बी वन सच प्लेस आप एमओ यूज करते हैं अच्छी बात है मुख्यमंत्री जी ने भी इशारा किया कि हम ये एक्सपेक्ट नहीं करते कि आप उस चीज पर रिसर्च करो जिसका ज्ञान पहले से ही है यू हैव टू थिंक आउट द बॉक्स एंड गो फॉर द लार्जर बिग टिकेट सिचुएशंस पर जब देश की प्रगति अप्रत्याशित होती है सपनों से परे होती है जमीनी हकीकत है तो चुनौतियां भी हैं दुनिया में भारत की आवाज बुलंदी पर है यह बहुत से लोगों के हाजमे के लिए ठीक नहीं है मैं कई बार कहता हूं और डॉक्टरों के सम्मेलन में भी एक बार कहा ऐसा इलाज कीजिए उन लोगों का जो भारत की प्रगति को पचा नहीं पा रहे हैं उनको बेचैनी हो जाती है वो किसी भी हद तक जा सकते हैं भारत की पवित्र संस्थाओं को कलंकित करने के लिए आई अपील टू एवरी वन इट इज आवर नेशनल ड्यूटी टू बिलीव इन आवर नेशन टू बिलीव इन भारतीयता टू बी प्राउड सिटीजन्स ऑफ भारत टू टेक प्राइड इन आवर एकम्प्लिशमेंट्स एंड मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंटीडोट न्यूट्रलाइज एंटी भारत नेरेटिव आप में ताकत है आप में बुद्धि है आप में सोच है आप विवेचन कर सकते हैं कुछ लोग तो कुछ भी कह जाते हैं कि हमारा पड़ोसी देश हमसे अच्छा है सबसे ज्यादा बेहोशी उस देश में हो जाती है बात सुनकर कहां आ गए हम आप लोगों की चुप्पी 
ऐसे महत्वपूर्ण मुद्दे पर जब राष्ट्र पूरी तरह से अग्रसर है सही रास्ते पे दुनिया सराहना कर रही है और हमारे जो अचीवमेंट्स हैं वो प्रैक्टिकल टर्म्स में है हमें पीछे नहीं हटना चाहिए आई एम श्योर यू डू इट कुछ बातें मैं आपको कहूंगा और प्रधानमंत्री जी ने एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण बात अपने मन की बात में कही है अभी इकोनॉमिक नेशनलिज्म इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ आवर इकोनॉमी ब्लॉसमिंग वी हैव टू सब्सक्राइब टू इकोनॉमिक नेशनलिज्म आर्थिक राष्ट्रवाद हमारे लिए अत्यंत महत्वपूर्ण है ये चिंता का विषय है चिंतन का विषय है सोच का विषय है और आप लोगों के लिए शोध का विषय है कि हम प्रेशर फॉरन एक्सचेंज का उपयोग करते हैं काइट्स पतंग आते हैं बाहर से कैंडल आती हैं बाहर से दिए आते हैं बाहर से बच्चों के खिलौने आते हैं बाहर से आपके कर्टेन बाहर से आपका फर्नीचर बाहर से हम कहा जा रहे हैं हमारी सोच में तुरंत बदलाव की आवश्यकता है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी का आह्वान लेटेस्ट बी वोकल फॉर लोकल इसी और संकेत देता है यदि अगर हर भारतीय आस्थान ले एंड आई वुड स्पेशली अपील टू आवर इंडस्ट्री टू आवर बिजनेस टू आवर ट्रेड कि थोड़े से पैसे के फायदे के लिए भारत में समस्या मत पैदा कीजिए ये थोड़ा सा पैसे का फायदा ए लाइक पेनी वाइज पाउंड फुलिश इसका सीधा अर्थ क्या है एक हमारे लोग जो बना सकते हैं उनका उत्साह कम होता है एम्प्लॉयमेंट पर भी असर पड़ता है प्रेशर फॉरन एक्सचेंज भी बाहर जाता है मैंने देश की हालत देखी हुई है चिंताजनक हालत देखी हुई है 1989 में आई वॉज मेंबर पार्लियामेंट लोकसभा आई वॉज अ यूनियन मिनिस्टर भारत की प्रतिष्ठा को जीवित रखने के लिए बचाने के लिए हमारे यहां का सोना हवाई जहाज से दो बैंकों में प्लेस किया गया आज हम कहा आ गए और फोर एक्सचेंज रिजर्व आर मोर देन 600 बिलियन उस समय हम एक और दो बिलियन के बीच में जो का खा रहे थे हर भारतीय आज के दिन ठान ले कि मैं आर्थिक राष्ट्रवाद के लिए समर्पित हूं आपका कंट्रीब्यूशन भारत की इकोनॉमी के लिए बहुत जबरदस्त होगा इट विल स्पाइनली कंट्रीब्यूट टू इमरजेंस ऑफ अ वेरी पावरफुल इकोनॉमी दूसरी बात जिसकी ओर मैं आपको संकेत देता हूं बहुत सी बातें हमारी आर्थिक ताकत पर महसूस करती हैं कैसी गाड़ी लेंगे कैसी पढ़ाई करेंगे कैसा मकान होगा कैसा फर्नीचर होगा करती हैं बट वेन इट कम्स टू नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस वो आपकी आर्थिक ताकत के आधार पर नहीं होने चाहिए नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज बिलोंग टू द एंटायर वर्ल्ड देयर हैज टू बी ऑप्टीमल यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज में कोई कहेगा कि आई कैन अफोर्ड फाइनेंशियली देयर फोर आई विल यूज मोर पावर मोर पेट्रोल नो यू हैव टू कंजर्व देम यू आर ट्रस्टी ऑफ इट और ये कल्चर यदि अगर विद्यार्थी वर्ग अपने हाथ में ले लेगा तो मैं मानकर चलता हूं एक बहुत बड़ी क्रांति आएगी वो सोचेंगे आगे वाले को भी वश करेंगे दुनिया में कहीं भी चले जाओ भारत के व्यक्ति की प्रतिभा का कोई मुकाबला नहीं है वी आर हैविंग फुटप्रिंट इन एवरी मेजर कॉर्पोरेट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आवर ह्यूमन जीनियस इज प्रोवाइडिंग देम लीडरशिप पर जब यहां की बात आती है थोड़ी हमें कमी है 
we don't believe in systemic working. Take for example, road. Kitna bada vikas roads ka hua hai? Kitna bada infrastructure hai? Dunya dang reh gai hai? Our highways are amazing, world class. Par jab unke upar vehicle chalte hai, or right bhi chalte hai, left bhi chalte hai, center mein bhi chalte hai, kyunki sadak to humari hai. We must believe in a system. Boys and girls, we have seen that 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 we have seen इतनी बड़ी क्रांति आई है कि हम पहले की स्थिति को भूल गए याद करो आवर पारी आवर पावर कॉरिडोर्स आवर गवर्नेंस सिस्टम वाज इन्फेस्टेड बाय पावर ब्रोकर्स करप्ट एलिमेंट्स दे यूज्ड टू डिसाइड डिसीजन मेकिंग दिस पावर कॉरिडोर्स नाउ हैव बीन थोरोली सैनिटाइज्ड Power brokers have been neutralized. वो कहीं दिखते भी नहीं हैं। इस सब का फायदा किन को मिलता है? इन सब का फायदा मिलता है आम नागरिक को, आम विद्यार्थी को। आज वो छाती ठोकर कह सकता है कि यहाँ से निकलकर मैं जिस दुनिया में जा रहा हूँ, जहाँ काम करूँगा, वहाँ मरीट होगी। कोई आज कानून से ऊपर नहीं है, पर मैं आपसे आग्रह क कि एक प्रवृत्ति जो चली है देश में और घातक है समन आता है न्यायालय का समन आता है एजेंसी का और कुछ लोग आ जाते हैं सड़क पर व्हेन वी हैव सच अ रोबस्ट ज्यूडिशियल सिस्टम व्हाई डोंट वी अवेल इट एंड कोर्ट्स हैव परफॉर्म वंडरफुली तो मेरा ये कहने का मतलब आज ये है कि भारत आपके हाथों में सुरक्षित है अमृत काल में भारत को उस स्तर पर लाकर जिसमें आप लोग ऑप्टिमली अपनी एनर्जी को एक्सप्लोइट कर सकते हैं द बैटन इज नाउ इन योर हैंड्स यू विल डिसाइड एंड शेप व्हाट आवर भारत विल बी व्हेन इट रीच 2047 सेंटेनरी ऑफ इट्स सेलिब्रेशंस मुझे यहाँ आकर बहुत प्रसन्नता हुई है। Your state has challenges, your chief minister challenges, पर जिस बेखुबी से challenges के मीट करते हुए प्रदेश की प्रगति के मामले में वो आगे बढ़ रहे हैं। सराहना आपके प्रांत में नहीं बाहर भी हो रही है। he is one of the few chief ministers who is known beyond his state. <laughs> Respected beyond his state and has a nationalistic vision. Mere man me koi shanka nahi hai. I am full of hope, optimism and confidence that under his able, committed, directional leadership, your state in the field of education will be number one. I am carrying a homework for me, and my homework is, when would I have the occasion to address alumni of this institution and call upon them? You may have done great things earlier, but now do it every year in a systemic manner to make this institute one of the best in the world, and I commit to be your foot soldier. Thank you so much for giving me this great opportunity. I take questions from here only. You two questions? Am I right? There are two questions. Yeah, okay, sir. Yes. Thank you so much, sir, for your illuminating and inspiring words. Next in agenda, we had the question answer session. 
but due to paucity of time, as the Honorable Vice President of India has many programs lined up, we will perhaps be able to take only one or two questions. Homoyor Natunir Babe, Ami Okol Etaba Duta Prosnohe Grohon Kuribo Parim, Satro Satri Hokolo, Nizor Haddang in Bulema on Originalu, Aru, Juni Prosno to Kore, Nizor Poriso Hoho, Prosno to Kuribulem on Kuribo. Warm greetings to all. My name is Ankita Sharma Bordley, and I'm an undergraduate student of English. So, the Northeast of India is located both culturally and strategically as a unique location all over the country. So, do you envision uh, in the future a paradigm of educational significance with, with a trust of regional studies that will also help in our national integration? I must commend you for a very good question. Thank you, sir. The entire world tasted and appreciated Lotus. Lotus was appreciated. It was part of G20 logo. Some people found it indigestible, but there was wider acceptability. Many of the leaders personally complimented me that what an amazing situation. So Lotus is now global. It is no longer limited to frontiers of our country. Second, an ecosystem is being developed around Lotus. And that ecosystem is reflected in the motto. That motto, as a matter of fact, has been drawn from our ancient scriptures, Vasudev Kutumkam. So the entire world was stunned, full of appreciation and recognition of knowledge and intellect of Bharat when they had one earth, one family, one future. If you will look at our history, we are the only country in the entire world that has never believed in expansion. We have never crossed our frontiers. And that is why two of the statements of the Prime Minister have been loaded by the entire world, one which he made about two years ago. This is not an era of expansion. And second, when he said all issues are required to be determined by dialogue and diplomacy. If you see the two recent issues in the world, both are current and challenged to the humanity. India's stand has been widely appreciated, very widely appreciated. So I have no doubt the kind of ecosystem you are thinking to be in place is already crystallizing. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Shall we take another question, sir? Yes, another one, please. Namaskar. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Gargi Sharma from Geology Department. Mm. Sir, the NEP's multidisciplinary ethos seeks to blend STEM education and the arts and humanities in spaces of higher education. How far, sir, do you think this will be realized in our system and will increase employability? Thank you, sir. It's a difficult question, and I'm happy at it. And it is my favorite. I have been telling for a long time three things. One, a student must never have stress, tension, and obsession with achievement. I was throughout a gold medalist. I was already always worried what will happen if I will not be at the top. I know now nothing would have happened. I would have made some more friends, would have been culturally involved. You may not know you are young, but Honorable Chief Minister can recollect he's also very young. He is in 50s only, mid 50s. There used to be Polson earlier, not Amul, Polson. 
Polson used to be the butter. So whenever I would approach a teacher, पीछे से आवाज आएगी, Polson, Polson, Polson. ये टीचर को Polson लगा रहा है. Multidisciplinary is fine. I want every student development to be like a river, not like a canal. Canal is drawn on the paper, executed by infrastructure experts with fixed destination and with targeted beneficiary. In the process, it doesn't help anyone. A to B, it may be 200 miles, 200 kilometers. A river will meander. Sometimes we wonder why it is meandering, why it can't be direct. But nature has gifted river in a manner so that it impacts the ecology, the ground to the maximum. That should be the, your journey. And have it from me. And historically, it is true. Many will warn us, heavens will fall. Heavens have never fallen historically. So never be bothered about the result. Never entertain a fear of failure. A fear of failure is the greatest killer of human genius. Unless you try, you cannot succeed. In the trial, you are bound to fail. I have been saying a number of times, our mind is brilliant. Sometimes we get a great idea, and then we become a parking place for that idea. The idea is comfortably parked in our mind because we fear its execution. Never do that. So boys and girls, important question. I'm not answering it fully leaving the answer to your imagination. The world is at your disposal. You can make a mark anywhere. Facilities available with you are the best in the world. And I would say better than the countries you think of. I have been pained on occasions where parents of some students who do not manage to get admission here in premier institutions on account of academic record, find an easy way to get some societal reputation. That my child is studying in the UK. Why is he studying in the UK? Which university is In the process, the whole country is paying money. And the family has tension. You are the best. You are in the best institute. You have the best of ecosystem. Policies of the government of India and the state are affirmative. Boys and girls, play on the front foot with a straight bat, ignore the empire and the wicket keeper because the ball you will tackle will go out of the stadium. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for your most insightful comments and interventions. Thank you once again.